Greetings and determined spectators of the World Wide Web. I am Jao Lanky Guy and welcome. Don't shush me. I am Tall Lanky Guy and welcome to Seven Days. Um This is not in Oh, is this in Finnish? Francais, Italiano, Portuguese, Deutsch, English! Here we go. Alright. So this is a horror game on Game Jolt um, that is pretty highly rated. Uh, so I'm just going to turn off all my lights and let's get right on into this. Hello. Oh. Oh, look at that nice potted plant on the floor there. Is there anything that I should know about that potted plant? Oh, hello. Alright, so it's a little pixelated. It's almost sort of a Minecraft style sort of thing. And that's very dark. Let's just move towards the darkness because that's a good survival technique. Yes. Open the door to more darkness. Oh, good. Alright. Well, that's a metal door. That's a wooden door. That's a white door. Wow, I have choices. Let's see here. Let's just open the white door. Because generally... Oh, it's locked. Alright, let's try the metal door. Oh, look at that. It's also locked. I'm just going to try and go through this game as optimistically as possible. Just so that when I do get scared... Okay. Mr. Door, you want to be a little less ominous right there? Alright. I don't know where I am. I don't know. Oh, there's some more doors. But I kind of want to get to the end of this here hallway. I want to get to where the end the darkness is no longer existent. Which is kind of where I am. But, I mean, you get... You, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm getting at. Alright. Let's see here. More darkness. Should I go in these doors? Should I go down this hallway? I'm going to go down this other hallway. We're shaking things up. The frick. What the frick was that? Good evening. Salutations. All right. Okay, that, that door opens in. Good to know. Let's see here. Oh, there's a table and... Oh. <laughs> oh, I love it when things have jail bars. It always means that something safe is here. Oh, and blood! Blood and guts. Blood splitting. Sam. Sam. Who's Sam? Who's Sam? I know a guy... I know a few people named Sam. Here's hoping none of them are the person that the lovely street artist is referring to because I feel like this is a bit of a unpleasant medium of public art. So we're just gonna move right along here and not give that particular artist any publicity. Let's just keep uh, slowly walking. It would seem as though none of the people in this in these horror games are really capable of walking any, like, you know, quickly. They obviously just, you know, like, they like to take their time. It's a washing machine! No, that's a stove. And a, here we are in the kitchen. Alright. Can I do anything with this? Can I make myself some bacon? Is there anything in here? Nope. Alright. Well, there's obviously some, I mean, I think that's white wine. It looks like the kind of bottle that they would put white wine in, and a cup, which is obviously not for wine. So I don't know what sort of not classy individual lives in here, but I'm sure it's not myself. What's in here? Oh, what is this? And... Is it, is it Sam? I think it's going to be Sam. Oh, why did I go past S? Ugh. 
All right. Oh, why did I? Oh, I did it again. I'm a silly goose. I'm a silly goose. All right. O P Q R S. Down to M H I J K L M. Hey, we're cooking with oil now. I don't even know what that is. I have no idea what that is. They put the mem the menu in English and continued to not put the in-game captions in English. Might want to note that if you're watching this, programmers. Uh, did I go through? This door is stuck. So it's not really a door anymore. I mean, it's not locked. I mean, a door is still a door if it's locked. But if a door no longer functions as a door, it's a wall. It's just a slightly indented wall. So we're just going to leave that wall. That looks a lot like a door. This door is also stuck. This door is also a wall. <sighs> can I run? Is that a thing that I can do? Sometimes the R button means run. I mean R for run, you know. Sometimes. And here we are. Back. Okay, so then that means it's time to go through some other doors. Let's try this door. Locked. Alright. Oh, good. I love it when things creak. Oh, lovely. Why music? Music, why? Why music? Is there anything in here that I should be worried about? There are many ancient books. Well, that's in English. So, uh, what about that? More ancient books. Is it, are they books on ancient things, or are the books themselves ancient? I would assume the latter. It's still locked. Alright, let's just move on along. Is this openable? This door is stuck. This door is open. A bowl. More potted plants. Oh, good. Oh, yay. And a microwave. No, that's a television. Oh, I do enjoy me some television. Is there anything on the television? Can we watch some Everybody Loves Raymond? Or perhaps Seinfeld or something other some other delightful situational situational comedy that's like a lot of static you know they say I don't really care what they say anymore because things just very quickly took a turn for the very creepy I hate it when that happens, so I'm gonna turn it off to you. I can't turn it off. Oh, good. Oh, lovely. Okay. We're just gonna leave that. Guess we're not watching Netflix today. Okay. This is... I have a weird love-hate relationship with horror games because I realize that it brings out a certain more entertaining side of myself but at the same time I really don't enjoy being scared I realize that there are some people who do enjoy being scared let's close that door but I am not one of those people who enjoys being this door is stuck I am not one of those people who enjoys being scared. <sighs> Actually, usually, the reason I don't like being scared is because usually it's associated with a 
with a monster being around, which usually means that I have to go quickly around something, which means I have to be good at video games, which I am generally not. So I feel like, hmm, definitely been around here a few times. Been around the block a few times. Here, yes, I've seen this couch, this fridge, and this terrible dish set. This looks like, that uh, looks very faintly like The Last Supper by Da Vinci. Don't ask me how I can see that. Just sort of, that, that beige bar kind of looks like a table. That's about it. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's close that. And let can I close this other bit here? There we go. All right. Hm. All right. So. What about that? Can I go open one of the other doors now? As I slowly trod away, this was the other thing. Uh, we, I had the same problem in Witch. You guys watched, watched Witch, right? Like, that guy was slow as crap. It was ridiculous. Okay, can I go in any of these doors now? Locked. Locked. Oh, fantabulous. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? There's nothing in there. What am I supposed to do? <sighs> it's really weird because, I mean, there's been no, like, there's been no, like, amazing, like, obnoxious jump scares. Just, like, the occasional heightening or appearance, even, of a musical soundtrack. Especially in here. Which I'm going to close the door. And the doors. The doors are trying to be creepy. <sighs> I, what I might just do is... I might just... Try and... Do this in more than one part. Because this is getting a bit ridiculous. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm sure it'll get really s spooky, like as I can tell from the menu here. But for now, that's all I've got. Um. I am going to keep playing this because I really want to get it get to the point where it's actually scary and where I'm actually entertaining. But until then, I will see you later. See you guys.